right, let's go into how to draw Godzilla and Godzilla minus one. It's gonna be that scene, that really cool scene when his head pops out of the water and he's chasing that boat. So we're gonna go over here and draw him and his spikes kind of sticking out of the water. First thing I do here is I'm gonna draw a line down for kind of that angry eye thing he's got going on. Line over here for the other portion of the inside of his eye. Line right there. Line here, curve. Line over here, up, curve. Down over here, kind of that lower portion of the eye. Lower portion of the eye right there. Take a line for underneath the, the lower portion of the eye, on that side at least. Curve right here for the eye right there. It's gonna be like a like a gravestone shape. All right, so you can only see the top half of that. Dot right there, dot right there. A line in between. Okay, we're gonna go, we're going more specific on this and then we're zooming out. It's a little bit opposite of what we normally do. Normally we go from the outside in, but for this one we're doing that. Nostril nostril kind of like the front by the way if you're a big godzilla fan hit that like right now like hit it really the godzilla videos are doing really well and i'm just like wow thank you because i love godzilla i love drawing godzilla and i hope you do as well not over here down so the front of his snout right here is gonna look a little bit like a i don't know like a birthday cake or something like that it looks like this round thing down over here at the edge of the mouth curve up all over here and then we're gonna go down over here for the teeth right there those teeth are angling down here and so we're gonna have the cutoff point here where the water is and it's gonna be a little bit of bubbles right here a little bit of bubblage Kind of popping out of the water there. Right? So you're gonna kind of have that bubbling-ish coming out. Line over here. Right there. To kind of have the that connecting point to the water. And so with the water on this side, we're gonna do this. We're gonna draw thin lines, kind of like wobbling, kind of like on the same surface, but kind of splayed across there. So, you know, you want them to be shaped differently, but kind of on the same plane there. Right on. I'm gonna go over here on this side. Zigzag over here for the cheek on one side, and then the other side of the head on the other side, okay? That side right there, and then it's gonna be like a dome shape. So kind of check it out as it is, and then we're gonna keep it going right here. See how it goes to the top. Over here, right there. See how that has that dome shape? All right. <clears throat> so we got Godzilla's head popping out. And now that we have this uh, row of spikes on his back coming out here. So let's just say maybe over here. Looks like a mountain of some sort, right? Oh, and then over here in the back, maybe something like that. Like you have one mountain coming out. Let's see, is that gonna make it on the page? I think it is. There you go, barely. Really gonna make it on the page. Over here. 
and maybe another one in the back. You're kind of layering them in, right? As is some are coming out over here because of the tail. You know? Let's draw a little bit of texture on his face because that's gonna be kind of like a big part of this. So go right here. This angry portion right there. Draw a little bit of dark over here. Curve, 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 curve. And we draw like these little half circles. You know what I'm saying? Like here, little half circles. That's kind of cute, by the way. Speaking of that, I'm gonna jump right into the segue, which is if you wanna learn how to draw something cute, there's the best resource that I have, and that is the ebook on how to draw something cute. Basically, you can take a regular character and draw it in a cute way. How do you do that? There, 90% of like the cute art you see online or you see in chibi stuff and anime, 90% of it is done with the same method. And I put that whole method in an ebook. I was selling it for $30. Uh, I was putting it out there and it did really well. And I wanna thank you guys, a lot of you guys for supporting it. And it's a 20 page PDF full of charts, right? We're artists, we learn in a, you know, visual way. And I put that out there to kind of get people to, to be able to do that more. So you, it's easy to print the PDF. It goes over things like, for example, proportion, heads tall, right? If you have a character standing up, let's say us in real life, as adults or whatever, we are, uh, you know, like, I don't know, six heads tall. Meaning if you measure the head out and then you, you know, you measure it out for the rest of the body, it's like six heads tall. Chibi characters tend to be two heads tall where the head is gigantic compared to the body, making it look cuter. There's more to it than that, but that's one little part of it and I go over everything. So go check it out. Uh, it is in the description right now for free. Basically, it's gonna be free for a while. Uh, it's not gonna be free forever, so go get it when you can right now. All you have to do is like sign up for the email list and that's it, boom. You have that printable uh, PDF, all yours. Uh, but go find that in the description. So right now we're gonna go over here, we're gonna draw these little curves, little curves around Godzilla here, just to give it that texture. Just It's like the little half circles and then a little bit more in the spikes. And you wanna make the details like that thinner because the thinner they are, um, basically the better they come out. No, I'm sorry, the, the, the more they don't distract, right? So right now we're just doing that there. Alrighty, that is pretty much it. What I want you to do is I want you, if you got to this point in the, we're putting dark right here under the mouth right there to kind of make it give more, uh, more aspect to it. What I want you to do is I want you to Share the video, that's the best thing you can do if you wanna say thank you for the channel, if you're still watching it. And number two, uh, I want you to tell me if you watched the movie. <laughs> I really wanna know if you tell, if you watched Godzilla Minus One. Let me know in the in the comments section. I would love to know that uh, and what you thought about it. And let's do another video together, okay? Stay with me right now, stay with me. We're gonna draw another video together. Let's do it. Okay, so that was amazing. You finished this lesson, but keep it going. Keep the art practice going by clicking this video right here. It's gonna be within the same theme and you wanna keep it rolling to get better and better and better and get that art flow going. So click right here.